of one it's red with reddragonleo.com it is november the second and i'm doing this um, video here for the post that i did uh did i do it on the 23rd i didn't realize it was that old uh anyway i was i meant to do a video for it back then but uh, i was having some computer issues and uh, so now i have um figured out what those are but I did want to add a video to it besides this technical video and this is will the Illuminati stage another false flag this October to start a war since the post and this video will be added to the post since this post I speculated that um, that some kind of false flag could happen to bring down the stock market now the reason for it is a multitude of reasons, but the most obvious one is the fact that the Legatus pilgrimage is an 11 day event that starts November the, November the 10th and ends, here it is, November the, I'm sorry, October the 10th, not November. Uh, this month, October the 10th, and ends on the 21st. Now, the Illuminati are big into numerology and rituals. 11 is one of their key numbers. It's a master number form, so any multiples of it is also considered 11. So that would mean that uh, 11, 22, 33, 44, etc., those are master numbers. And whenever you have a date that adds up to an 11 when you add up all the individual numbers in the date including the month uh, of the year the year itself and the day of the month when you add all those up and it comes up to an 11 a 22 uh, or a 33 that's considered an 11 now uh, if it comes up to anything other than those two numbers then you add those two end results together to get your final tally. So if it ends up being a 30, say it ends up being a 35, well you had three plus five and you got eight, and that's your ending number. Or if it added up to be 15, you'd add one plus five, and it ends up being six. Well, this 21st is a uh, Sunday. The market is open on Monday the 22nd. On Monday the 22nd, the 22 obviously indicates a um, a daily. I did. This is my terminology of what I'm calling it because every month has a, a tw the 22nd and the 11th in, it, as well as the 29th, where 2 plus 9 equals 11. So every month has three 11 dates in them, but those are just daily, uh, daily uh, 11s, uh, or I should say they're they're daily 11s because when you add up all the digits in the month and the year, it doesn't uh, always add up to be an 11. Uh, so, so I don't value those as high as I would where all the digits added up equal an 11 or 22 or master number of it, the 33, um, if, if, when you add them all up. So, so my point being is when you add up uh, Tuesday, the 23rd, when you add up 1 plus 0, uh, and I've already done that here in this, this is why I wanted to show you this. Uh, da, 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 da. And here it is. Uh, when you add up um, 1 plus uh, on the 23rd, I don't think I wrote it down here, I'm sorry. But when you, when you add it up here, I'll, I'll run uh, my uh, notepad for you so you can see it this way, so that you get it. I want to make sure you get it. 10 dash 23 dash 2012. That is 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2. That all equals 11. Okay? That's why I think the stock market is going to peak uh, on this October 23rd. Now, on the 22nd, Monday the 22nd, it's a possibility but it's it's not an 11 date when you add up all of the numbers because that um, simply equals 
when you add this up, you got 1 plus 0 plus, you don't break down the 2 plus 2 and make it to 4. You don't add it that way. You, because 22 is a master number, uh, you would just leave it as 22 as a whole number. And then you would add up your 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2. Now that equals 5, 6, uh, that equals uh, 28. That equals 28 when you add up all those digits. And then you take the result of that and basically you add up 2 plus 8 to equal uh, a 10. So that in itself is not that significant. It's just what I, what I call only the day of the week, the 22, or the day of the month is a yearly, I'm sorry, is, a, um, is an 11, concern 11. But the one before that on the 23rd, as you can see here, this one is the whole year. The year, the month, the day, it all adds up to it. Now, I want you to look at, at this right here, what I posted here. October the 29th, 1929 was a Tuesday. It was an 11 day. Why? Because 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 9 plus 1 plus 2 plus etc. equals 33. Now it's a master number like in the Freemasons. George uh, H. Bush, Daddy Bush is a 33 degree Freemason, Illuminati. He's one of the head ranking ones. They, they get their power from these numbers. And these numbers in themselves are not good or bad. But they use them to do like false flag events, like 9-11. The, in that case, only the, the daily, just the 11 itself, turned out to be uh, a, um, an 11 day. But it also had significance because 9-11 is, is when you call 9-1-1, you emergency, blah, blah, blah. So you kind of know why they did it on 9-11. But if you, actually, if, you did, if you actually added that up, you would find out that um, it doesn't add up. So that, you know, it turns into 0 plus 9 plus 11. Why? Because you don't break down the master numbers. Uh, plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 and that of course equals uh, 23 23 okay so um, and then that in that in turn would then equal 2 plus 3 uh, to equal 5 but the more important thing was that the whole thing with that it was a 9-11 that's why they did it it's an emergency number for you know when you call uh, emergency, you know, 9-11. Anyway, so that's why they get the power for that. But now, so this is one of the reasons I think that there could be a false flag. We've got Legatus, which has always been a turn for these people, at least, I don't know, since uh, the, since 2008. Every time there's been a Legatus meeting, uh, there seems to be a turn in the market. And at least 80% of the time, not every time, not every time. There's been a few times, not much happened. I think they got together. This is where these gangsters get together and they decide on what they're going to do in the market. They, they, they. It's a, it's a, what, well, it's a gangster meeting, folks. This magazine, uh, this fake Catholic organization, they're worshiping Satan. All these people are, uh, they are not good people. They're not good people. Doesn't mean the individual person that joins is necessarily bad, but certainly the elite ones are. Uh, maybe the, the average people aren't. But the fact that this is an 11 day event, and then right after we have a 22 date on Monday, when the stock market is open, and then a 23, where that turns out to be a yearly uh, 11, because all the numbers add up, again, when you, when you add them all up right here, again, they equal 11, that means to me, that to me is the most likely time this market is going to peak and start selling off then. Then, we got something else to worry about. Right after that, we have um, an, on November 6th, another Tuesday, we have an 11 day. Now, if you go back and look at the stock market in 1929, uh, you'll see that on that date, uh, on that date, and we go back to the daily, and we'll look at it right here, right here in this 1929 period. Now, that's hard to see, I realize, but look right up here at this date, okay? And we'll zoom in a little bit more here. 
1929 uh, to this one year. Okay, now over here, when I go over to uh, the 29th was a Monday, as you can see, and that's the big move down. That's the big crash move down. That was, I'm sorry, that, that was a Tuesday. Monday is the 28th, it tanked hard. Then Tuesday it tanked even more before they had a rebound back up the next day uh, on the 30th. So uh, that's one of the reasons, and that's an 11 day. Now that's uh, a huge, huge sell off. Now the reason I've uh, pinpointed that day as being, you know, the crash day, I didn't choose it, it was done a long time before me, before I was ever born. But I'm looking at the next time that this could happen for a crash. In other words, we would start down right after Legatus on either the 22nd or the 23rd of this October 2012. Uh, and again, today is, uh, what is today? Today is the uh, second I'm doing this video. So, okay. So I'm doing well ahead. So you can see the 22nd is a, is a daily 11, just because it's the 22. And then this one's a yearly one. Now, the 6th, November the 6th, is the next major 11 date. Because why? Because 11, you don't break it down because that's the 11th month, plus 6, plus the 2, plus 0, plus 1, plus 2, uh, equals 22. Well, there it is. It's in a 22, which again is 11. Now, that's also when the elections is. Uh, it's a few days after the vote. I guess the second's the vote, but... It is the second, isn't it? Or is it the sixth? They might get this backwards, but the election time is there. Uh, now, Johnny uh, happened to point out that's when the Simpsons clock also happens to point to 11 6. In case you guys have forgotten all about this old Simpson clock, uh, if you have remembered, they, the Illuminati like to tell you in advance what they're going to do to you. Well, here we go. We have, uh, we have an 11 and a 6, November the 6th. And we've been speculating on this for several years since this come out, this episode of a nuclear bomb blowing up in Springfield in the movies or in this show. And everybody thought, well, it was uh, June, June, the 6th month, 11th date. And they thought, well, it's upside down. It's 9-11 again. Or maybe it, it's 11-6. Or maybe it's 11-9. People, I think, have forgot about it now. It's been three years since uh, people started posting since this episode. has been around a while. So here I am bringing it out again. Well, what happens this this time around with 2012, this date, 11-6, uh, November the 6th, is, is a ritual 11 date, and it could very well be just like a crash date like um, October 29th was. Now, what I want to understand, I don't think that this is going to be the crash. I think it's going to be a nasty move down very nasty move down. Call it a mini crash if you want. Uh, and, you know, it could be based upon a false flag. Maybe they set off a nuke over somewhere, some other country uh, and to start um, the skirmish over there, the undeclared World War III. Maybe we're not involved yet. Maybe it's Israel. I don't know. They're going to do these things on 11. I hope that it doesn't get started. But that is a possibility. So, you know, in my opinion, should be looking to get short either Friday the uh, October 19th or wait till Monday the 22nd or the 23rd and get short and just ride this move out because I fully expect this thing to, to go down all the way into this Tuesday, November 6th. And I have no idea what could happen with elections. Uh, if Obama wants to stage something to keep himself in and shut down the elections, what, what a perfect day to do it. So this is just a, some... Thinking outside the box, folks, it is fully, fully possible that um, they could stage a false flag. I don't know, all right? Now, I'm just putting it out there. They generally don't tell us exactly what's going to happen, but uh, anyway, be sure and come to the blog and post your comments if you like the thoughts here. I'd love to hear from anybody uh, as well. If you have other stuff that, that would pertain to this, it'd be great to come to the blog, go to the comment section, and post all right, guys, that is it. Uh, thanks a lot, and I will see you on the blog.